Okay, um, for tutorial two, okay, I'm going to start off with some concept. Um, okay, you, incomplete records for for incomplete records, we have to find the missing figure. If you are given the trip receivable, normally you are asked to find the sales, or you are asked to find the amount collected in the bank. Okay, example uh, if you are given opening receivable, opening asset, you also be given the closing asset closing receivables okay and uh, amount collected from the customer cash discount allowed means discount given to my customer sales return as well as better return off and this carry down brought down this one will be brought down balance to carry down eh? so let's say you are given a bank account and you will be asked to find the sales okay missing figure sales so trade receivables is to find sales and trade paper we know is to find the paper okay the purchase so you'll be given the opening paper you owe to supplier you owe to a supplier closing at the beginning and at the end so brought down will be carried down this is how much you pay to your supplier cash discount received from your supplier purchase return from your supplier up to your supplier so you'll be uh, looking for amount paid or if it's given then you find the purchase okay for incomplete records okay if you are given prepayment for rental expenses uh, here you'll be given opening prepayment okay and you may be given closing prepayment so carry down brought down 120 and rental we know we have to pay and if this is given bank if we pay 320 so the balancing figure will be amount charged to statement of profit and loss means SPL expenses will be 300 so expenses 300 and set 120 prepayment expenses can also be opening accrual let's say 50 accrual will be on the credit side liability closing accrual 60 so carry down brought down 60 same as rental insurance we pay let's say it is 140 so find the missing figure interest is an expenses we charge to spl 150 expenses and this is accrual is a current liability this is a current asset okay not prepayment current asset expenses accrual is a current liability so in complete records is to find missing figure okay and uh, this is very common uh, especially trade receivables and also trade paper the next thing we need to know is on our this another concept say our sales is two dollars our cost one dollar we buy one dollar we sell two dollars so our gross profit is one dollar so our profit is one dollar this is in value term in percentage term so question is how many percent is this one dollar how many percent is this one dollar so some will say it's 50 percent some will say it is 100 percent both is correct because if it's 50 percent means uh, you are taking profit divided by sales times 100 percent so profit divided by sales is actually margin so my profit is one dollar out of two dollars so i make a 50 percent profit so this 50 percent profit here is 50 percent profit on sales margin means profit on sales profit on sales some will say it is 100 percent which is also correct because it is based on markup which is profit of one dollar compared to my cost i make a profit of one dollar 
my cost is one dollar. Means I buy one dollar, I mark up one dollar as profit, I make a hundred percent profit. And this is hundred percent profit on cost. Means markup is profit on cost. Important. Margin means profit on sales. Markup means profit on cost. Margin is on sales. Markup means profit on cost. So margin and markup both are profit. One is based on sales. One is based on cost. Okay. Margin is on sales. Markup is on cost. Next example. Say my sales is one thousand. My cost is eight hundred. Hence my profit is two hundred dollars. How much is my margin? Margin means profit on sales. Means gross profit over sales times hundred. And we know is two hundred divided by one thousand. It is twenty percent profit on sales. Markup will be profit over cost. If my cost is eight hundred, I mark up two hundred profit. So I mark up how many percent? I mark up twenty five percent. Means my profit is twenty five percent on cost. Okay. So we use this twenty percent, and we use this twenty five percent and place it here. Margin. My margin is 20%. 20% is on cost, uh, on sales. So my sales is 100%. So we know our cost is 80%. If it's markup, and we know markup is on cost, markup is 25%. On cost, so cost hundred percent. So my sales will be how many percent? So sales less cost profit. Sales less cost profit. So my sales will be one two five percent, not seventy five percent. So we can therefore conclude. That. Our this one, our margin twenty five percent on sales. Sales is always hundred percent. Markup is on cost. Cost is always always hundred percent. This hundred percent is fixed. Margin sales hundred percent. Markup cost hundred percent. Fixed. The rest will change. Okay. So margin and markup. So let's focus on this example here. If margin is sixteen percent, margin is on sales, sixteen percent. Margin is on sales, and we know sales is always hundred percent. Therefore, my cost is eighty four. If my margin is twenty one percent, profit means twenty five percent on sales. Margin sales always hundred percent, so seventy nine. Fifty two. Margin. Forty eight is my cost. So sales is always hundred percent if it's margin. Next example if it's markup. Let's say I would like to mark up twenty five percent, twenty four percent. Sales cost gross of it assign percentage. Twenty four percent markup means twenty four percent markup on markup is always on cost, therefore cost always hundred percent. My sales will be one to four. Fifteen markup for it markup markup cost hundred percent one four eight. Can I markup? Three hundred percent. Yes. Three hundred percent profit. 
markup is on cost. So my sales is 400 plan. Means uh, I buy $1 cost. I mark up $3. So I have to sell $4. Okay. Buy $1, which is 100%. Mark up 300% means mark up $3. I have to sell $4, 400%. Okay. So conclusion, sales is always 100% for margin. Cost is always 100% for mark up. Next example. Let's say sales two hundred dollars is given, and margin is ten percent, and we know margin means ten percent profit on six sales will be hundred percent. So we have a sales here. This will be hundred percent. So how much is my profit? Sales cost profit. Sales given two hundred. Cost not given. Profit not given. However, margin is given. And we know margin is 10% on sales. Sales will be 100%. So 200 is 100%. Can we find 10%? 200, if it's 100%, divide 100%, which is 1 times with 10. So answer profit is 20%. 200 is 100%. Therefore, 10% is 20. We can find our cost 180, which is actually 90%. Example 2. Cost is $500. Markup means 10% profit on cost. Means my cost is 100%. I have a cost here, therefore, cost is 100%. So sales cost and profit, cost given $500, sales not given, cost profit not given, but we are given percentage, 10% on cost markup. Markup means on cost, cost 100%. Sales is 110. 500 is 100%. How much is 10%? If 500 is 100%, divide 100, Find profit, profit is 10. So 50. Sales will be 550, five, means 110%. Okay, try example 3. Sales is 600. Markup means 30% profit on cost. Cost will be 100%. Sales is how many percent? Okay, sales is how many percent? Sales will be, because it's on cost, cost 100, sales will be 120%, 120. Check. Sales, cost and profit. 600 is my sales, cost not sure. Profit not sure. Given is 20% markup. And markup is on cost. That's why sales is 120. 600 is 120%. Divide by 1, 2. Find profit. And profit is 20%. So answer is 100. So my cost will be 500. Try example 4. Cost is 1006. How many percent is 1006? Margin is 20%. Margin is on sales. Therefore, sales 100%. Sales 100, cost will be 80%. If 1006 is 80%, 100 is 
how much is my profit? Sales cost gross profit. Thousand six. Margin is twenty percent on six. Sales hundred percent. Eighty. So thousand six is eighty percent divide. Find profit. Four hundred. So my sales will be two thousand, which is hundred percent. Okay. So that is a margin and markup. Continue. Example five. So. Fast track means we're not going to show the sales cost of it. We identify how many percent is this. Margin is on cost, uh, sales. Margin on sales, sales 100%. Profit 40%. Sales, sales 100%. Profit 40% means cost is 60%. So find profit. So when this is equal, 480 is equal to 60%. So we can find 1%. I want 40%. 40% times is 40. So this will be 240 profit. Cost profit. We can find sales. Sales will be. 720 because we know cost and profit for it and two four okay example six markup is on cost cost 25 cost 100 percent Profit, this is profit 25%. Cost will be 100%. Sales will be 125. Let's find sales. Profit is 200. 25% markup. Markup means markup on cost. 125. So 200 is 25 percent. So 125 will be how many percent? Sales will be 200 divided by 25. Sales is 125 times 125. So 25 times 5, 1000. Sales is 1000. Cost will be 80. Okay. So now, uh, for example 7, a question given here is your SPL statement. Sales is 1000. Given opening inventory, purchase. Closing not given. Profit not given. Cost not given. Not given, not given. Not given. Uh, sorry. Not given. But find question here. Find closing inventory if markup is twenty five percent. Markup. Markup means profit. Profit twenty five percent on cost. Sales will be 125. So we know sales 1000 is 125%. Can we find 100%? Cost? Yes. Cost 
cost will be 1000 divided by 125 times cost is 100%. Eight hundred. So cost found. Put it here. Profit found. Two hundred. But what we want is closing inventory. Find closing inventory. So answer will be two hundred plus six two zero minus closing to get 800. Answer is 20. So using margin markup to find missing figure is closing inventory. Using markup margin to find missing figure Closing inventory. This is incomplete records. Next. Example 8. Sales given. Opening given. Purchase missing figure. Close cost of sales missing figure. Profit missing. Given is fine. Purchase if margin is 10%, margin is profit on sales. Therefore, sales will be 100%. 6,004 is 100, 90% will be. Cost is 90. So answer. Five, seven, six, zero. Five purchase. And we know this is gross of it. Maybe Find purchase. Okay, that should be answer. Purchase is five 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 zero. Using margin to find purchase. Missing figure. Example nine. Sales 5, opening given, purchase, closing, cost, gross, profit, not given. Opening paper to 5, closing paper, amount paid to supplier, purchase, return, and markup is on cost, 25. So, we need this. Paper, paper, paper. Earlier, our example. Paper, paper is to find purchase or it can be bank. So this one given is opening paper, closing paper, the rest it is given, find the purchase. So we're going to use trade paper. I rub this off. Trade paper. Opening paper is a liability. Balance brought down 250. Liability credit balance. Given also. 
closing payback, closing liabilities. 150. Amount paid to supplier payment, credit bank, debit payback. Payment 3700. Purchase return is this side. 140. So find missing figure. Purchase. Three seven plus one four plus one five minus two five. Three seven four zero purchase found transfer to here three seven four zero closing not sure but markup is given. So markup is 25% on cost. So cost will be 100%. Sales will be 1, 2, 5. So 5, 100%. 5,000 divide 1, 2, 5 times 100%. You should get Four thousand. Find closing. Answer will be two zero zero. Done.